What's up, gamers? It's D Werewolf Gaming here, back with another Remnant 2 video. All right, guys, I want to first start off by saying I really appreciate everybody who's 
continuously to support my channel. Anybody who's new to the channel, thank you for taking the time to come in and check out my video today. All right, guys, and I also want to point out that uh, I really appreciate those who leave the comments, especially those who leave the positive comments. I do have a lot of negative comments on my channel. It's always somebody looking for something to complain about in the video. But, guys, these bills that I make, they are always, I'm going to say this all the time, it's always a blueprint. I play this game where if it works for me, I will make a video and showcase me using these particular bills. Uh, I'm never going to say these bills are the best. And, I'm, I, guys, I want to show you real gameplay of what really happens without me editing. That's why I don't take out the scenes where I go down if I die. Because, uh, you know, I'm human and I do make mistakes. And something in this game here, a mistake can cost you your life. With that being said, I really appreciate everybody who continues to support my channel, supports the growth. And guys, please remember, if you like the content, to hit that like button, share, and subscribe. It doesn't cost anything to subscribe to the channel. It is free, and it, it really helps push my content. With that being said, guys, uh, today I fought two bosses. The only thing I did change out, you will see in the video, is I did change my armor set out uh, that I was using because I am using the Missy Step, so I can go pretty heavy on my armor. And I did change my relic. At one point, I was using the relic where you can get your mod back pretty quickly. I can't remember the name of it at this given moment. And uh, the relic I like using for the harder bosses is the shielded relic because that, uh, for me, that ball, that is a, you know, it's, it's a staple in any build and being able to survive some of these bosses and some of the hits they do to you. With that being said, guys, uh, as you can see on this build, the Night Reaver, when I got to her, I didn't even know she was going to be an elemental resist. But this build was still able to melt her down pretty quickly. And I almost didn't even go down at all on her until you will see at the end where she basically should have been dead. And I will go down. And that's why the Challenger class is so special because, you know, you get that second life. And if you used to wear like the black um, the black cat ring, basically you got two lives with the Challenger. So, you know, that's just another thought for those who are new to this game or still trying to figure out what goes with what and what works best with, with each build. All right, so I'm going to let you finish watching this gameplay. And then we will go over the build breakdown in the end. Um, and I, I, oh yeah, I do want to mention before we get started going to build is that some of the rings and items I am using, guys, uh, is RNG based. Some of it, you know, it takes time to obtain. What I always do if I see an item I want, I'll just take a picture of it and do a little bit of research and see how you can obtain it. Most of the items you can obtain on normal gameplay. There is one ring that I'm using that requires you to play on hardcore mode. Uh, but with that being said, guys, I do got a video that I will make up for to show you how to obtain that ring. A real easy guide, the easiest way for those of you who don't want to spend a lot of time to end up accidentally dying and having to start over creating a whole new character. All right, guys, so let's get ready to go over this build breakdown. As you see right there at the end, she should have been dead, but for some reason, you know, she still was able to kill me. All right, so the most important thing in this build, especially those who are new to this game, is the challenger. This class gives you that second life, so if you make a mistake, you get another chance. The Die Hard Prime perk is just amazing. When receiving fatal damage, the challenger becomes invulnerable for three seconds and regenerate 100% of max health. This can only occur once every 10 minutes or be reset it at the World Stone. You wear whatever armor set you prefer. You know, I said it at the beginning, but it doesn't really matter. I was using the Rampage uh, archetype skill just so I can get that rage and get that berserker up to increase all damage but when you do use this class it increases fire rate by 15 percent uh reload speed by 25 percent and movement speed by 15 percent this last is 10 seconds guys when you go berserk you double your damage and and um you can get up to 2.5 percent per stack and you get up a maximum of 10 stacks and when you hit 10 stacks you go berserk all right my secondary class was the ritualist uh ritualist is just has been amazing one of my most funnest class i enjoy playing with it at a given moment right now but that wrath perk but it does is it increases the damage to all enemies affected by a negative status effect by 20% and it increases critical chance against enemies affected by a negative status effect so just amazing some of the other perks is terrified dark blood and purge all of those just work good with this particular class guys uh, if you're trying to survive apocalypse this is definitely one of the, best, the most funnest builds to use all right for my skill on this class I was using my asthma Basically, what it does is it casts a AOE burst that applies bleed, burn, over uh, shock, and corroded all at the same time to enemies with meters and dealing a total of 4,406.25 base damage, and it lasts for 20, 23 seconds. Just great and fun to use. All right, for my armor, wear whatever armor you prefer. I was using the shielded heart guys with the increased mod duration, increased health, and increased elemental damage. 
Like I say, the shielded mod, the shielded heart is just amazing for apocalypse. All right, so spark fly shotgun is definitely needed, and I was using this with the uh, far grazing mod, and with this mod you get you can attain by killing Legion and Geisha, but it calls forth an eye, and the longer that eye stays on the enemy, guys, it ramps up the damage you're doing to that particular target. Just amazing, you know, you get that. Um, the only thing is sometimes it's hard to aim down sights, but it's just amazing for taking out bosses. I was using twisting. Uh, Wounds just so I can be able to apply that bleed and increase my range damage. And overall, that bleed is another status effect, so it just helps uh, ramp up the damage on this build. All right, for all elemental builds right now, the Crow Axe is just amazing because what you do is you charge it, and when you throw the axe, it automatically applies shock to the enemy guys. And also, using the Tainted Blade Mutator, you're able to apply corrosive damage to the enemies as well. Just enjoy using it. It's great on any elemental bill at the given moment right now, guys. I always say the given moment because you never know when things are going to change in this game. All right, the Nebula is another must, in my opinion. Out of this or Enigma, both would have been good, but the Nebula applies corrosive. And, guys, it's good for taking care of ads while you focus on the boss. You release a nano, storm, nano swarm of uh, nano machines that attack enemies within 20 meters and repeatedly attacking dealing acid damage and it lasts for 17.2 seconds guys just amazing i paired it with the male storm to increase and get increased elemental damage by 10 percent for each status effect guys and as you can see i was using fire bleed shock and corrosive so i'm getting a, a good bit of elemental damage applied to these enemies on top of that it increases my regeneration as well all right for the rings the ring of omens this one is rng will be kind of aggravating to obtain you get it in yesha at the cathedral of the omens but what it does is it allows you to be able to get that mystic step in but it it does take some of your great health and stamina and instead of using stamina when you use this particular ring. All right, the Singe ring is the next ring I was using. What it does is increases all damage to dealt to burning enemies, guys. They're always going to get fire applied, so they always be burning. I'm using the Banner Fanatic to increase status effect by 25%, but it reduces the duration by 65%. All right, and this is the ring. Now, not a crystal, guys. This is what you have to obtain on hardcore mode. And I do have a video coming out on how to, how to obtain this easily. But it increases the status effect as well. And the Talisman of the Sun, guys. This amulet increases fire damage by 20% and burning damage by 50%. Just amazing for this particular build. Uh, you know, it definitely boosts up the damage on the Spark Fire Shotgun as far as that burning effect. All right. The traits really don't matter, guys. Use what work best for you because I was using the Misty Step. So, and also don't forget to use the Mud Tonic, Mud Tooth Tonic to increase your overall health. It helps you be able to survive a lot more. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please remember to hit that like button, share, and subscribe. Thanks. The Werewolf out.